Greetings, I'm Eric Griffith, Features Editor at PC Mag, and like you, I've had to do some presentations in my day. PowerPoint, part of Microsoft's Office Suite, is the de facto standard for creating a slide deck. It's on over a billion computers, and chances are you'll use it someday to make a pitch to an investor, spell out something important to the troops, or bore a whole bunch of hormone-addled students. No matter what you use it for, here are some tips to get the most out of PowerPoint. Number one, start a slideshow instantly. Nothing is worse than watching a presenter fumble to find a PowerPoint file and launch it and then get it into a slideshow mode. Save your finished presentation with the extension PPS or PPSX. That's a PowerPoint show rather than the standard PowerPoint file format of PPT. When you double click, it launches instantly into slideshow mode, not editing mode. Then you can click the escape key on the keyboard or the arrow keys to go back and forth. Number two, dodge the bullets. You've probably seen slides from Apple presentations. Did you see what they never ever use? Bullets. They have many bullet points to get across, but actually little round bullet icons, never. The best way to do it, drop each information point into the slide one at a time so each one gets attention from the audience. Make it clearly readable, but never use bullets. Bullets are for losers, and you're not a loser. People like you. Number three, go black and white to regain focus. People who watch presentations sometimes get a little sidetracked by the slides. As a presenter, you want them to actually focus on you. The slides should just be gravy. Get their attention during the presentation by hitting either the B key or the W key on the keyboard. The presentation will instantly go to a black screen or a white screen. Hit any other key to go back to the slides. Number four, use the reading view to preview your slides. When you're making a slideshow with PowerPoint, if you launch it into slideshow mode all the time, it takes over your whole screen. That's annoying. Instead, click the open book icon on the status bar at the bottom of the screen to go into the PowerPoint reading view. It gives you an instant look at what the slide will look like, and each click of the icon will toggle you in and out of the view. Number five, animate your info charts. Charts aren't just for Excel spreadsheets. In fact, it's easy to put a sample chart into PowerPoint. Just go to the Insert tab, click Chart, and one is instantly dropped in with sample info you can replace. What you want to do then is animate the chart, one element at a time. First, select the chart itself, click the Animations tab, turn on the Animations pane, then click Add Animation. Pick an effect, then in the Animation pane, right-click and select Effect Options. Add some sound or change the timing, then on the final tab, called Chart Animation, change group chart from as one object to by category. Now when the chart drops in one element at a time, it'll happen every time you click. Bask in the oohs and ahs of your audience. You're now well on your way to becoming the best presenter at your company. Learn a few more tricks to keeping the audience happy with PowerPoint over at PCMag.com.